Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Another quick video today, just to have a recap on Hydra. Now again, if you don't know, Hydra is a very low cap altcoin. I don't know its market cap, but it's ranked about a thousand. And I mean, in, during the bull run 2021, it's a new coin, by the way, it's, it's February of 2021, basically. So it sort of joined just in time for the bull run, where it saw big gains. Um, it's a low cap coin, and during that bull run, it was around the 300 position, but ever since it's been falling and it's fallen quite bad this run it's done really poorly and it's dropped all the way down to something like it's just above 1000 now it's 950 whatever and as we can see when we last covered this it was about two weeks ago actually i think it could have been even longer ago to be honest with you um anyway it was at least two weeks ago it was before this dip anyway and in that last video i basically said i think we'll probably float around uh, the 80 cent mark and then we might see a dip lower and we think that'll be it for the bottom for this year now having seen this big sell-off I don't know what caused it whether it was some worry I think there was some uh, FUD about it being delisted on KuCoin which is not true by the way um, obviously if you're watching this video you probably know a little bit about Hydra already so if you're watching this and you're wondering whether it's going to get delisted on KuCoin that's not true now uh, as you can see, I drew a Fibonacci here. Um, it's not really doing much because, as you can see, we sort of drew it at this initial price, which is its lowest until recently, which was $1.30. And ever since we've fallen below that, we've had no sort of support anywhere or resistance. So it's in this sort of weird limbo where we have no way of really telling what will happen and sharp price actions will happen. As you can see, ever since we fell out of it, once we drop below the initial sort of price when we reached all time lows, you know, ass fell out of it, kept wiggling around, and then it's dropped again. And to be honest with you, I can see it doing this again. Now we have broken above the 60 cent range, which could be some form of support now, but I wouldn't put any money in it. We're basically in a very, there's no way of really knowing what's going to happen here. Anything can happen. We're in a zone where there's no prior supports, no prior resistances, all time lows. We've been at them for, you know, basically since May, um, two months now at least. This is unheard of territory. So I, there's not really much I can talk about on this. I mainly just wanted to make this video to say that it's not getting delisted on KuCoin. So you can still buy and trade Hydra on KuCoin, which is where it sees its most volume and uh, where it was first listed is kind of what brought the coin to mainstream attention during the last bull run as it did offer some very cool sort of unique um, um, God, I can't think of the word I can never think of the word um, but anyway it was very you know it was good coin and obviously by its price action we saw basically a 40x uh, well it went to 52 so somewhere around a 40x yeah let's just see um, a 50x roughly give or take oh no 36x my bad okay so yeah not too bad at all um anyway yeah again zooming in what do i think will happen i honestly think we'll probably see lower i don't think we've put in a low mind you saying that i mean buying now if it returns to an all-time high you're looking at a, you know, a, around a 70x, basically. And, you know, even if you want to half the all-time high, sell it if it ever reaches 20, which is possible. You know, a lot of altcoins never reach their all-time highs after their initial bull run. They're sort of one-hit wonders. They stick around for one cycle and then fade for the rest. This, to be honest with you, this price action, it's not promising for me. But at the same time, we're dealing with a very low-cap coin that's gone below it's any form of uh, support level that we've ever seen before. So it's in no man's land at the moment. Anything can really happen. And the price action will be severe, uh, either positive or negative. You know, it'll be, um, um, it, you know, exemplified. So in conclusion, really think I, I'm, I've, been buying at these prices now to be honest with you i thought we'd dip at this price and we wouldn't be down here long but seeing how quickly we we actually reached here 
and I mean it's not until the end of September where we should even really be thinking that altcoins might start to be picking up a bit at least on their Bitcoin pairs with USD there can still be more pain so again for me I've I would be getting a little bit here but also I think there's more pain realistically lots and when you see these small cap coins reach these lows it's usually pretty poor news really poor news but ada did the same thing ada launched at three cent i think oh no i can't remember now but ada launched at whatever price and it after that bull run it dipped below and then it came up and put in new all-time highs so it's going to be interesting whatever happens with hydra i'm going to be still holding you know it's a coin i do believe in and it's fun for me to work with it with my raspberry pi uh node um anyway guys thanks for watching take care and uh peace